Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is just some basic UV or texture scaling so we can actually change the scaling of our texture UVs inside of our game. So as you can see on screen now we've got the same material on two different sized meshes. So on one size wall it looks perfectly normal, on another size wall the material has scaled up with the scaling of the wall as well. So what we want to do is we want to scale the same material down to be the same size as this. So it's going to have a nice seamless texture and the bricks will look like the correct size. So if I were to apply my other material onto this, you can see it is the exact same textures, but I've just scaled it down to then fit perfectly on here, as you can see, like so. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we need to do is you need to make sure you have your material. So what you can do is you don't need to duplicate the material if you want to keep it the same, but because I'm doing two different materials here just to showcase it, I'm going to be duplicating it. However, if you want to just change the scaling of a certain material, you can do it in the same one. So again, for me, I'm duplicating it, so I have another one, and I'll call this Brick Mat 1, and I'm going to open this up straight away. Now in here, all I've got is the base color, the roughness, and the normal texture. That's all I've got. You don't need all three if you don't want them, However, I've got them in here. So what we can do is it's very, very simple. We need to right click and get texture coordinate like so. So just the texture coordinate node here, and we're gonna connect that into UVs of our texture sample. So this is why it's UV scaling, because we're gonna be scaling the UVs based on certain texture coordinates. And with this selected, you can see we have tiling down here on the U and the V. So you're gonna to want to connect this in for all of the texture samples that you want to be scaling, which for me will be the base, the roughness and the normal. Again, if you've only got the base color, just do that and so on and so forth for all of your different textures which you are using. Now what I'm going to do is if I hit apply, minimize this and put this material on here, you'll notice it's going to look like this. It's very, very small. So that's the default which we have. So if I were to then reopen this back up again, what we can see is if I select the text coordinates, one is a bit too small. So we want to make this smaller, which might sound counterintuitive, but you make the number smaller, the scaling is gonna get bigger. So if I were to lower this to 0.5 and then apply that, what we're gonna see is it's then got bigger. So it's scaled it up, but that is obviously now too big. So we'll change this again. And also I'll show you if you just do it on one, so let's have the U on one and the V on 0.5, we'll notice this is gonna stretch out to the sides like you can see there, or it's scaling it further in, sorry. So the reason why lowering the number makes the scaling bigger is because there is going to be less scaling on there. So there's less to fit in, so it's going to be fitting in more of it, if that makes sense. So don't think of it like it's a scale number. So the one is the size of it. Think of it of how many times it's going to be tiling. So if we want it to tile once, it's going to be this size, which we have here. Let me actually just minimize this slightly so we can see it a bit better. If we have the tiling on one, this is it normally. If we to then have the tiling on 0.5, so we have half as much tiling on there, it's going to be twice as big. So I hope that all makes sense. We're, we're having half the amount on there, which means it's going to be twice as big. So again, for me, 0.5 is a bit too big. So let's put it on 0.75, and that should be perfect for what I want here to get the desired effect. And again, as you can see, it works perfectly. And you can see here as well, you can obviously mirror the U and V if you wanted to as well. For me, that's not what I want, but you can see that is what you can do here. So if you wanted upside down bricks, for example, or you just wanted the sideways to go the other way round, you can do that. So we get some longer bricks here. But again, that's not what I'm after. I want it to just be the normal brick effect. So this is basically all we're going to be going over today. Just some very simple tiling and scaling of UVs and textures to get the desired effects we want, just in case your, maybe, your bricks are maybe too big for the size of the player, or maybe they're too small. And again, it doesn't just have to be bricks. This can be absolutely anything you want. Maybe the text is too big or too small and you want to change it without having to go back into Blender or your 3D modeling software. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.